Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tiger Schooling. In this session, we are going to talk about amniocentesis. Alright, amniocentesis, it's actually a procedure or you can say it's actually a process in which the amniotic fluid, if you don't know what is amniotic fluid, I'm just going to explain it in just a bit later. But you gotta be with my definition. A process in which amniotic fluid is sampled using a hollow needle inserted into the mother's womb to see for abnormality, abnormalities in the developing fetus, all right? So what happens, the mother's womb, you, you know, actually the fetus, by the fetus we actually mean the baby inside the body. So the fetus is actually, the baby is actually surrounded by the amniotic fluid. I mean, the baby is enclosed in a sac, a, a bag-like structure in which there is a fluid and in that fluid the blue baby is floating. So that fluid is called the amniotic fluid. So in that amniotic fluid we have the baby cells. You know, we always, we all the time shed cells from our body. Probably the baby is also going to shed cells. So those cells are going to be found in the baby's uterus. Alright, so we can check, the, uh, so from th these amniotic fluid, we take the fluid, so in that fluid we have cells, alright, we are looking for cells because we are con concerned with the cells because we have to check the abnormalities in the baby. So what happened, and this procedure is actually done in the third trimester of the pregnancy, which is actually the third to eight week of pregnancy. Remember that, third, third I mean, sorry, third, third, 15 to 18 week of the pregnancy. So what happens, the doctor insert the needle under the ultrasound guidance. Remember that, because um, we need ultrasound to see if you're, uh, to see inside the, uh, the uh, mother's womb, because if, when we are going to insert the needle, we have to make sure that we are not entering the needle in the wrong place. So to make sure we are entering the needle at the right place, we have to use the ultrasound. So this is the reason why we use the ultrasound transducer. All right, and uh, one other question that we have, we have to uh, say that why we perform in your synthesis, I have already, I'm going to talk further about it. It's actually, we have to check out the birth defects in the baby, in the baby chromosome. The baby got, uh, we, are, we are extracting cells from uh, the amniotic, uh, uh, the amniotic fluid and we are going to check that amniotic uh, fluid we're going to get uh, the cells out of it and from these cells we're going to check chromosomes and in these chromosomes we probably gonna check if we don't have any uh, defect birth defects so actually this procedure is applied um, on uh, this procedure is not applied on a lot of people but mostly the people who have these who have gone through these following conditions must go through uh, the amniocentesis like uh, persons having abnormal ultrasound results for example you have a uh, you have an abnormal uh, ultrasound result your doctor will suggest you to go and have an amniocentesis uh, sometimes people with family history of certain birth defects also go through the amniocentesis and and sometimes the uh, mother having previously child with birth defect also go through the amniocentesis so uh, what uh, what we get from this amniocentesis, you know, sometimes uh, we actually, uh, it does, uh, we detect a lot of birth defects like we Down syndrome, sickle cell anemia, and cystic fibrosis, and also uh, other, you know, like a neural tube defects, you know, spina bifida. So it's a good procedure, you know, uh, if, you th if you think you, uh, you have to uh, be careful about the birth defects of your child, please make sure you and go through the amniocentesis. Alright, this is all for this section. Please make sure to comment us and let us know what we can explain easy for you. Keep visiting Tags School.